propose him that way. Probably climbing up. Our really good pain. Oh yeah. Shows that that was coming. We get. Oh wow wow. You know what I'm just. But the detail. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, as you can see, I can't I can't even tell you guys how excited I am. Um, last week. Um, I'd unbox my very first Batman. And this week, not only am I unboxing another first, it is also my very first um, hot toy vehicle or of any any of that sort. This is my very first non-figure hot toy, if that even makes sense. This thing is massive, okay? It came double boxed, the... the, the, the Sideshows, um, little generic boxes they send their their um, figures in, and plus inside that box is this box right here. I just measured this box; it's 27 inches long by nine and a half inches tall. So this thing is massive. So when I'm gonna open this box, I don't know if the box is gonna be this big. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit smaller it came with a little carrier case right there i don't know if it's going to be the same um apparently obviously it's going to be smaller right but we'll see how smaller let's slice that one open let's slice this one open is there another tape i don't think so yep tape on the side so this baby is going to slide right off I can't wait. If you guys watch my unboxing of Batman, you already know. I kind of hinted that I'm, I'm probably going to get this Bat Pod because it completes that figure. And that Batman was out of control. Okay, so let me. I'm gonna slide it off. It's in a bat. It's in a plastic wrap. Uh, insert. Man, this is, I don't even know how I'm going to display this thing. I, I think, I think I have a spot for it, but man, I just couldn't help myself when I saw that my Batman comes or will be completed if I do this, man, I'm trying not to knock things around here right I know that that Batmobile is definitely that one is going to be out of control I don't know if you guys have the Batmobile if you do let me know I would love to see a display of that or how you even display that even this if you have this oh man look at that Look at that. Let me. Okay, it slides right out. Let me get it out of the way. Close that. I don't even know what that is. Um, trying to get all the entire unboxing for you guys on camera so you guys can see exactly. What everything looks like when you get the box. I'm telling you right now, you're going to need a lot of room. Unboxing. This. I can see that there's a little bit of assembly going on there. I'm trying to lift the little insert. Just to see if there's anything down there. Probably not. I don't see why. I think no, there's nothing there, right? At all. This. There, I just threw it out of the uh, out of the space. Okay, so you do get this, and um, it's going to show you exactly how put this together right it's a different it's a different one it's an insert normally we have those fold up 
manual, but not this one. Let's see together. Um, the handle grips is exactly what this is, right? The handle grips can be attached onto the back pod and the sequence is shown. So there you go. I'm gonna attempt to install that maybe with you guys on camera on um, front and rear of wheels is equipped with rotatable function there's safety pins you gotta remove um, I didn't see any tools um, oof LED light up function I didn't see no batteries though could this be rechargeable? I don't think so. Let's see. Dash the cover. Unscrew and open the battery back box covered to put in the new batteries. Collectible does not include battery. What the heck? It takes two double. A okay, at least it's not those um little tiny batteries. Um activate the line function. Okay, so it looks pretty straightforward. Right, but um, <clears throat> I might have to install those things off camera. But first, this is how the bad pod looks from above. Let's get this out of the way. Right there. I'm gonna try to turn it for you guys. Plastic, easy removal there. That one just slides right off. This one is a little bit, it's taped there to protect that because it's not attached to anything. The wheels are, uh, you already know there's a safety pin in there. So why don't I remove this plastics, install what I need to install and uh, maybe install the battery. And then so we can uh, look at exactly how this bad boy looks like. I'll be right back. All right guys, so, so far, we just pretty much installed this piece right here. Um, as you can see, it just kind of like goes in there in this bar and it clamps on there, one on your side. So I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? Normally I do the batteries off camera, but this bad part didn't really come out a lot. So if I do that, then I don't know if we're really doing any reviews, are we? So, you know what? I'm going to invite you guys. So, we need to remove that screw right there. So that you guys can actually see for a change how, you know, what you have to do. Put the batteries in. Looks like this just comes right off. Just like that. And... Two AAA batteries go in there. One, and then two. Right? I was kind of lost because I've never unboxed anything but um, figures before. I've never done any vehicles. So I'm like, man, what am I kind of to talk about here? Right? And you know we're going to have to bring Batman out here. Probably, right? Especially, it shows here how the the holsters, how you holster the, um, the EMP rifle, right? Which doesn't come with this. It comes with that Batman, right? So that Batman and this Bat Pod really goes hand in hand. So, there we go. We don't have to go crazy tying this up. We're not really driving it around. So, um, and the seat really just kind of like sit there. Does that even make sense? The seat just kind of like sit there, right? There you go. And um, right now the wheels doesn't really turn, right? For display purposes, that way it doesn't roll off. There's a pin down here that you kind of pull right there. You pull that off. Pull this one out, and then the wheels will turn. But we don't need to 
turn. Um, anything, right? So now we're going to try to figure out how in the world batteries right there and the on and off switch is maybe in the bottom somewhere right there there's the on and off switch which turns on the lights right there um, that's the only thing that turns on this really that's the only thing that really turns on um, just turns on those light how bright is it I don't know let's turn this lights off and we'll see how bright it is there not too not too bad it's pretty pretty bright I don't want to like but that's the only thing that turns on though just those two lights so I don't know I got something uh, you want to really mess with but so yeah that's the uh, that's the only thing that turns on those two AAA batteries turn those on It's weird because I thought they would turn on anything back here. Nope. Nothing. So what about we get those get the bout pod like in a in a turntable and uh, so that way we can talk and uh, about what we see. Guess what? I don't have. I don't have a big enough turntable for this bad pod. This bad pod is massive, right? Let's let's uh, now that it's out of the box. Let's see how long this bad boy is from the back wheel all the way to the gun right there, roughly is two feet two feet long and he is about six and a half inches massive so but yeah it doesn't tip because those wheels are are really so I made two feet of display so you know that's what you need but let's take a closer look there is his, his little um, foot rest right there. And I already know that his knees are probably sitting there. But I'm telling you guys the detail of this thing. It literally looks like the bad pod. It feels amazing. It's hard plastic, obviously. I don't think any of it is metal. But the paint application and the bluing on the... On the um, the gun portion of the bad pot is amazing. The tire is rubbery. It really feels like real tire. Um, this handlebar and the steering portion of it. I mean, everything just looks, man, amazing. Look at that, right? That baby looks amazing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get Batman out here and uh, at least his gun and we'll try to holster that. Let it show it on the, um, the little manual. That is EMP kind of like attached a back wheel. And um, we'll go from there because he is Amazing. I can't wait to display him. Right, we're back and uh, let's see if we can find a little piece of information. Alright, got the I got Batman out of here. Out here. 
and it looks like this kind of like just hangs like that. I think maybe this way. All right, so looks like the EMP gun just kind of like. Hangs like it shows that it just kind of clamps there. Okay, so there you go. It just kind of clamps right there. Um, I know there's pictures of him and the bad pod, but it's gonna be a little challenging. But what do you guys think? Our first vehicle um, on the channel. And it's massive. I mean, he looks, he looks, he looks big. Look at that. Right? He looks really big. Massive. That's a side view. I mean, if we go front, I don't even think I can make it happen. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess I can make it happen a little bit. But yeah, this bad boy is big. Am I glad I gra grabbed him? I, uh, yeah, I guess I am. He's beautiful. I'm glad that it doesn't roll off like that. Um, and I'm glad that I noticed that it comes with this Batman, the one that for only Batman actually that I, that I got, that I just knocked off. Um, that I got because he would definitely make that appearance on the shelf. Probably complete. I mean, look at him. Right? He will definitely make it good. Look good. I don't know. How do you guys display a bad pot? I would love for you guys to show me how because, like I said, this is my first bad pot. This is my first vehicle. And this baby is massive. It's, I think it's as long as my vintage. Maybe not quite. Vintage. Um. Millennium Falcon and that baby is massive. Maybe it's the same. I'm not sure. Well, I think that one was 32 I think that one was 32, but six scale vehicle as you can see already if you're wondering they're massive This one is 24 by six and a half So before you buy one make sure you have the space to uh, To display because I definitely made sure that I have one because I'm not about to buy anything and not display it. So, I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I surely it was it was it was interesting. It was, you know, I was when I opened a the box. There's not a lot of accessories. I'm like, oh man, what am I, what am I even gonna talk about? But I guess I don't. All I have to do is show you guys the bat pot, and uh, that's it. This thing is beautiful, though, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad I picked them up. Um, Thank you for tuning in. If you've never been here before, um, I do a lot of unboxing, hot toys, lightsabers. I do some Legos um, when we're waiting for our pre-orders. You know how that, you know how that goes. So uh, if you want to see any more contents like that, consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. If you've been here before, thank you for always commenting. I always comment back. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think we just reach 165 subscriber. Man, I can't even tell you guys how excited I am. Excited. Scale of 1 to 10, kind of like this bad pod, 10. A solid 10. I love this thing. It looks cool. And guess what, guys? If you, I don't know how long that buy one, get one 50% off at Sideshow, you should definitely take advantage of that because according to some um, OG collectors, that has never ever ever happened before 
So go out there, try to take advantage of that if you need the figure that they're um, currently have on the deal. Or if you want to maybe army build a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. He is. I know this bad pod's there. And this Brucey Wayne is there. So have fun, guys. Keep collecting. And like always, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.